हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर मनोज कुमार वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पीसी एट एम एल आर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी हैदराबाद टुडे आई एम हेयर टू डिलीवर अ लेक्चर टॉक ऑन डाटा एक्विजिशन सिस्टम दिस इज बेसिक ओवरव्यू ऑफ माय प्रेजेंटेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डाटा एक्विजिशन सिस्टम आफ्टर डेट आई विल टेकिंग द क्लासिफिकेशन कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल एंड फाइनली सम ऑफ द application of data acquisition systems so basically what is data acquisition system data acquisition system is nothing it is a process of collecting measuring and recording the data basically data acquisition system consist of three steps collection of data measuring of data and recording of data collecting how we can collect the data by the means of some sensors we can measure how we can measure the data by some of the measuring devices like voltmeter and other things recording the data and finally we can store the data in some memory card so data acquisition system consists of basically three things collection of data measurement of data and recording of data also what are the basic components of a data acquisition system basic component of a data acquisition systems are sensors and transducers signal conditioning circuits adc converters data pre processors and display unit so basically the data acquisition consists of a sensors which will measure the physical quantities and it will converts the physical quantities into electrical signals once it is converted to electrical signals will apply some signal conditioning signal conditioning will remove some of the noise and it will amplify the signals for the further processing once signal conditioning is done it will be given to adc analog to digital converter this analog to digital converter will converts the signal into digital format once it is converted to digital format we will give to the processor for the further processing because microprocessor only understands the digital data that's why first the signal should be converted from analog to digital then you apply to the processor and finally either we can display the data or store the data so this is the basic concept of a data acquisition system now what are different types of a data acquisition system we can see that stand alone data acquisition system pc based data acquisition systems wireless data acquisition system means in what is meaning of wireless data acquisition system data can be collected and transmitted wirelessly and distributed data acquisition system multiple data acquisition system units are connected to each other for covering a large area so he here we can see that distributed data acquisition system now how to construct a data acquisition system first of the block is that you have to take any sensors like temperature sensors pressure sensors humidity sensors after that apply signal conditioning already we discussed this thing after that analog to digital converters once the signal is converted to signal is converted to digital format we can further give this digital data to the processor for the further processing after processor we can attach the display unit or memory card to the processor for the displaying the data acquisition data or we can store in the memory card so this is the basic block diagram as we can see in the figure we have multiple transducers or sensors after that once the transducer captures the physical parameters or converts the physical parameters into some signals this signal is again given to signal conditioner block 
which will amplify it it will which will remove the noises from the signals once the noises and amplification done it is given to the multiplexer so here why we are using multiplexer as we know that we have single a to d converter but we have multiple input so the work of multi multiplexer is that one by one it will give access of input channel over a to d converter so in a in a time sequence manner multiplexer can transfer all the input data to a given single output a to d converter if you don't use multiplexer so we have to use multiple a to d converter which will unnecessary increase the cost of data acquisition system so in order to avoid we are using a multiplexer which will converts the multi, which will transfer the multiple input transducer data to a single output a to d converter so instead of using multiple a to d converter we using a single and multiplexer we can transfer the multiple input to the a to d converter so in this way we can trans we can convert the transducer data to the digital format once the data is converted to digital format we can attach the printer digital display or we can further do the transmission of this data for some further applications and we can also give to the computer processing so this is the basic block diagram of a data acquisition system so in data acquisition system we have we should remember three things collection of data measurement of data and recording of data so already what is the working principle first the there will be the sensing of input signal through the transducer or sensors after that apply signal conditioning a to d converter data processing and display unit already we discussed these things so what is the application application is that it is widely used in the industries hvac systems automotive industries aerospace sectors so these are the sum of the application of data acquisition system so data acquisition systems you have to remember that it is nothing but the collecting data <coughs> processing data and storing the data or transmitting the transmission of data collection processing and storing these are the main components of a data acquisition systems thank you